Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 3, Practice Problems Review is on reasoning to find area. Let's decompose and rearrange shapes to find their areas. And as we look at question 1, find the area of each shaded region, show your reasoning. Well, for letter A here, a couple different options to decompose, break down this rectangle here, or not rectangle, but this shape. Got rectangles on the mind because I'm going to divide this into rectangles. And so, I have a 2 by 5 rectangle, and to find that area, area of a rectangle is length times width, so we're going to have 2 times 5, which is 10. For the middle rectangle here, we have a 2 by 4, and so this area is going to be 2 times 4, which will get us 8. And our last rectangle, or actually a square, is 2 times 2, which will result in an area here of 4. And if we add 10 plus 8 plus 4, we get our final answer for A of 22 square units. Now, if we shift our focus to B, our big square here has dimensions of 6 by 6. Our little squares have 2 by 2 dimensions. And so, if you look at the big square, that area is 6 times 6, which would be 36. And we have two of these 2 times 2s, each of those have an area of 4. So our total area of this square is 4, our total area of this square is 4. The big blue region is 36, but we need to take out those two 4s. And so if we take 36 minus 8, because 4 plus 4 is 8, we end up with the final solution here of 28 square units. And looking at C, we have here, if we de decompose this, a rectangle down here that is 6 by 2. And what I'm going to do for this triangle here, I'm going to count 1, 2 down and 1, 2, 3 over, and we have our slant. What if I take this region and move it over to here, where I have 3 over, 2 down, and my slant. Because when I do that now, I have a rectangle right here that I can find the area of, which is 2 by 3. And so that rectangle would be 2 times 3, or 6. The bigger one was 6 times 2, which is 12. And so my final answer here would be 6 plus 12, or 18 square units. And that's question one. Found the area of all the shaded regions. Let's move on to question two. Find the area of each shaded region and show or explain your reasoning. So now we're off the grid. And we'll zoom in to A here. Once again, a couple different options here. I'm going to choose to decompose this and break this down into a 2 by 2 square. And the 2 by 2, 2 times 2 gets me an area of 4 for that shaded region. And then if I take on this shaded region here on the bottom, Now, this dimension is 6, but this dimension here, the whole thing up and down was 6. This piece of it is 2. And so what's left for this sh region here is 4. And so the area of the bottom region is 4 times 6, which is 24. And when I go to add the 4 with the 24, 
I get an area here of 28 square centimeters. And that's A. Oops. What about B? In B, the blue region is a rectangle that's 8 by 5. So I can take 8 times 5 here to get 40 And then our smaller, kind of on an angle rectangle here, is 2 by 3. So 2 times 3 is going to be 6, but I need to subtract that away. So my answer is going to be 40 minus 6, or in other words, 34 square centimeters. Let's move on now to C. We have a blue rectangle here that's 15 by 10. So the blue area, not keeping or not thinking about the center section that's gone, would be 15 times 10 or 150 square centimeters. And if I look now at the white or yellow area here that I need to subtract out, I can take 9 times 6 to get 54 square centimeters there. And lastly, if I subtract 150, and 54, so 150 minus the 54 there, I will end up with an area of 96 square centimeters. And then as I move on to D, if I look at this right triangle, or right portion of the triangle here, I can shift this over to this side because this 8 side is going to match this 8 centimeter side and this 5 centimeters will match this 5 centimeters and so now all of a sudden here I have a nice rectangle that's 8 by 5 and the area of that is going to be 8 times 5 which gets us a solution of 40 square centimeters And that's it for question two. As we move on now to question three. Two plots of land have very different shapes. Noah said that both plots of land have the same area. Do you agree with Noah and explain your reasoning? Well, if you think back to the warm up, we had something very similar to this. What I'm going to do is take this little jet out here that's yellow and color it in. What I like to look at now is can I take this and move it over here? Will it fit? And sure enough, it does look like it fits over there. So if I take that jet out and it becomes the yellow jet out there, I no longer have this because I removed it. And sure enough, plot A looks like it is plot B. So for our explanation here, I would argue Noah is correct. Explain your reasoning. The triangle can be moved to complete a matching rectangle. Let's move on to our last question, question four. This is review now from lesson two. A homeowner is deciding on the size of tiles to use to fully tile a rectangular wall in her bathroom that is 80 inches by 40 inches. The tiles are squares and come in three sizes. 8 inches, 4 inches, and 2 inches. State if you agree with each statement about the tiles and explain your reasoning. Let's start off by drawing and just looking at some pictures of these things and what we're dealing with. If we had a large tile here, we can call this 8 by 8. And if we had then 
one that's half the size of that, that would be a four by four. When I say half the size, I mean the length and the widths were half. And then if I have that again on the length and the width, I have something that's two by two. Now, thinking logically about this, if I had a wall in the bathroom that was 80 by 40, those eight inch tiles, it would take about 10 to go all the way across and only five to go down. The four inch tiles would take like 20 to go across and 10 to go down and so on. And the two would take what, 40 to go across and 20 to go down. Now, regardless of the size she chooses, she will need the same number of tiles. That is false. I disagree with that. She would need fewer big tiles than small tiles. Again, the small tiles, if you're going little two inches at a time here across this wall, you need a whole bunch more compared to if you had eight inches taken up at a time. All right? And regardless of the size she chooses, the area of the wall that is being tiled is the same. That is true. I mean, the area of the wall is going to be 80 times 40, which is 3,200 square units. I mean, the area is going to be the same no matter what. Number three, she'll need two two-inch tiles to cover the same area as one four-inch tile. Well, if I break this four-inch tile down into two-inch tiles, each one of these now is two by two by two by two by two and so on. It actually, you need four. So I disagree with this. You will need four two-inch tiles to cover the same area as one four-inch tile. And that should make sense because the area of one two-inch tile is two times two, which is four. The area of one four-inch tile is four times four, which is 16. And of course, four times four is 16. So you'll need four of those two-inch tiles. Four. She'll need four four-inch tiles to cover the same area as one eight-inch tile. All right, let's look at that. Let's look at an eight-inch tile now. If this is eight by eight, if I break this down, each of these then is four. And sure enough, four four-inch tiles does cover the same area. So that's a yes. And again, eight times eight is 64. Four times four is 16. And sure enough, 16 times four is 64, so that's another way of going around to prove it. Five, if she chooses the eight inch tile, she'll need a quarter as many uh, tiles as she would two inch tiles. Let's think about how many two inch tiles are in an eight inch tile. Well, I'm gonna zoom way in on this to give myself some room to work. If this is an eight inch tile, if I divide it in half once, those are the four inch tiles. And then if I draw more lines in here, those would be two inch tiles, right? Because if this was eight by eight, then it takes four of these tiles to stretch across and four of these tiles to stretch down. So it actually takes 16 of the two inch tiles to equal one eight inch tile. And so a quarter would be one fourth as many. Well, it actually, you would need one 16th as many eight inch tiles because you need 16 of the two inch tiles to fill one of the eight. So we're gonna disagree with that one then as well. 
Well, that is it for this practice problems review on Unit 1, Lesson 3, Reasoning to Find Area. Good luck.